Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 20 of our Raja of the Rajput Rike achievement run in Europa and Ursus 4. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode, we've not been expanding much, because we've, been, we've just been trying to manage our lands we took from Malwa and his former vassal of Bundelkant, who does not exist anymore. Yeah, just been conversing it, coordinating it and fighting with some rebellions, if I remember correctly, or trying to avoid rebellions at least. Uh, we managed to get rid of Delian, separate this by just uh, raising autonomy. Maybe it was not the most efficient way, but it's fine. And we still have Bundelkan, the separatists. Yeah, who we're trying to sit on right now, in hopes of them uh, going away. And yeah, we also, what we need to do right now is start looking for the people to attack. Also, by the way, Timbers are in the war. Okay, so that means... It's soon Synth probably gonna be unprotected. So let's go and pay attention to that. Let's go to speed 3 for a second. Bachman is announced Nagor is their new rival. Yeah, I just entered the game, so rival is gonna get reshuffled. So yeah, Bachman is rivaled me back. That's fine. Malo no longer considers Janpur as the rival. Uh, Janpur said Tirhut as the rival. Janpur no longer considers Bachman as a rival. Bachman is no longer considered Janpur as a rival. Okay, fine. Let's go to speed 4. Uh, what is that? Lose Pietzi to get some more manpower or gain Pietzi. Manpower would be useful, but I've already lost my Pietzi once for this event, so let's go and get Pietzi back. Uh, to get a little bit more conversion speed in here. Also, what I would like to do is uh, move one of these forts, or not move. I think uh, the license of Fort and Reboch Hunter and setting one like in Gorwar would be a decent idea because it's gonna protect a lot of provinces around it and protect our flank or our country from the uh, uh, from the this direction from the south. So yeah, but we actually can't really afford it right now. We're getting a lot of money from war operations, so it was actually a an awesome idea to take money from the Bahmanis. So yeah, let's go and pay attention to <laughs> to the date when uh, Timurs would actually be uh, not willing to protect Sint. It would be kind of great. We're currently getting siege by Tiberistan. Who's actually powerful or more powerful, Tiberistan or the Timurids? If Tiberistan actually decided to declare on them, I would assume the Timurids are in a rough shape right now, and also they're getting sieged by uh, by pretenders. So, let's go and look at military for now. Timurids and Tiberistan, they should be close. The Ledger. Tiberistan, 15,000, 5,000 manpower. Timurids, 12,000. So, Tiberistan should have bigger army. And actually, if Timurids don't have 15,000, they can't really even protect Synth that much. Also, I've already fabricated the second claim on Synth, that's great. Do we have any new missions? Manpower Recover. Eh, I know that it needs recovery, but probably not gonna happen. Okay, anything changed? Yeah, his willingness are slowly dropping. Now we have Timurid's Manpower minus 2 in here, War Exhaustion. They're getting some more dead, and they're getting more occupied, which is really damn great. Because Synth actually need to cease to exist, because they're annoying. Unfortunately, I can't get them as my rival anymore, but that's fine. And yeah, it's gonna give me an access to the water, as well as access to Baluchistan. To attack in Baluchistan. By consuming Baluchistan, we're gonna get access to Oman and Hasa and... Uh, the access to expansion in this general direction, where we actually should be going for the Germany. So, yeah, that's gonna be a focus for now, I guess. Also, we lost our general. If I remember correctly, also one of the things I've been willing to do is actually stop focusing on admin, and I guess it might be reasonable. <clears throat> Even though we're still falling behind on admin. Uh, actually, yeah, considering that we're falling behind on admin. I think we could continue doing this. We don't really need extra diplo points, and on the military side we are decent. 
and even managing to invest in some ideas, so... That would be useful. Also having ideas is actually dropping our cost on tech. Yeah, that's great. So yeah, I guess we're gonna continue focusing on admin then. I could build some more buildings here yeah, also. How costly are forts? 207. So, I actually could now destroy this thing and build a fort and core war in like a couple of... Uh, couple of days. Or a couple of months worth of money also. We're suffering attrition in Marwar. What the heck? Why the supply limit is so crappy? Because it's arid. Okay, let's sit in core war then. We don't have manpower to waste. So, let's check one more time. Timurids. Third one reasons to join. War exhaustion is not getting driven uh, that high, but actually, their capital just got sieged. So that should definitely uh, take some more reasons from them. Yeah, now it's only 13. Okay, come on, some more. Pretenders, you need to do a better job, as well as the Barristan on their part. Also, I probably should just shuffle a general. Because this one is just awful. My air. Yeah, let's go and try it. Oh my goodness. I just kill yourself, please. Actually, I could keep you for now. To one. To one is better than nothing, but they're both just uh, abysmally awful. Okay, one more month passed. Oh no, don't send a warning to him. Seven reasons. Okay, it's dropping really, the, uh, really damn quickly. So in like a couple, couple more months, Timur is not gonna be protecting them. Oh, also, looks like Timur is got attacked by Baluchistan. They decided to take their opportunity. Attacking against Timur is in Baluchistan the conquest of Chagai. Okay, great, great, great. Uh, oh, all of a sudden it's 20 reasons again. What the heck? No, oh, because Sin decided to protect, to join the defensive war against Baluchistan, so it's like bump up, bumped up trust or something. Oh, Baluchistan, don't you dare siege Sint? I actually need to do this right now. Also, Sint actually have two forts. I wonder how the heck he is managing to... Or his, how he is managing them. How he's like having enough money for that. Actually, one of the one of his forts just fell. Looks like it probably was unmaintained. Okay, that's interesting. And Baluchistani army is gone. Ooh, that was... A stupid declaration of war from your side, looks like. No, I don't want to attack this guy, I want to attack this guy. 21 reasons. Trust plus 64, defensive war plus 30. Oh well. I'm just gonna wait then. I don't really have much other people to attack. Actually, Ledek is one of the possible targets, but I've actually lost claim on him, so let's go and refabricate, just in case, in here. Also, how's Gondwana doing? Still a vassal of Malwa. That's really surprising. Considering that Malwa is 3 provinces and you are 4 provinces. Should be... Like... Kind of more powerful. Actually your development is not that high and you only have 3 regiments, so... Maybe it kind of makes sense, I have no idea. Also to Barristan, what are you doing? Why not sieging anything? Actually you do siege, or you are trying to siege some more forts, oh, that's kind of useful. Come on, Timurids, you don't need to protect this jerk. Forts and reasons. I need to eat him. I only have two claims, but if I were to declare war, I'm probably just gonna try to take everything I can. Yeah, the siege of the stupid Baluchistan would be kind of annoying to deal with. Or actually, I'm not gonna be able to deal with, uh, to deal with that. There's our conversion of Mansaur. Okay. It should help with unrest and stuff. Sick zealots. They should be gone now. And uh, Rewak Hunter. Uh, where is that? It's here and it's already have kind of higher unrest, so let's not touch it for now. As well as Bundelkant. Kalpi. It's the one I've increased uh, Autonomy in. Okay, this one is fine. 
Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Dalen Separatist is already ticked down, so... Oh, it's actually gonna change to Hindu Zealots. Okay. That's even better, maybe. Oh, Synth, you're friendly towards me. That's interesting. Okay, 57 again. Have you finished your war with the Barristan? Yes, you have. How? Looks like the Barristan lost, actually. Oh, god damn it. Let's look at Timurids again. How powerful are they? Oh, they're actually down to, like, non-armies non whatsoever, and they have 9,000 manpower. So if I were to, like, call in Multan... Multan, do you have any claims on Synth? You do. Okay, we need the... Uh, we need to wait for them to finish the war with Baluchistan. And then if I were to uh, call in Multan... I could actually win uh, pretty easily. And I could even give Multan, like, one province from Timuris. I probably should not do this. Because at some point I would need to take them as well. Also, I have tons of money right now. So yeah, let's go and actually move this fort around. So this one we're gonna destroy. And we're gonna build one in Gorwar. It should be a little bit more efficient, I think. So this thing, all of this thing is gonna be protected by this one fort. Geared protects this. Everything else protecting, being protected in here. It would be great to actually also have a fort in my capital, but maybe later. Okay, this thing is not sieged anymore. But the war with Baluchistan is still going. Ooh. God damn it. My great leader actually died for some strange reason. I don't think you were old at all. Okay, now we have a creepy one. Or at least not the best one. 560. Yeah, we're gonna have <laughs> not much military points. But our air is actually kind of better. Slightly. Okay. Royal marriage from Multan. No. Need to get all of these decisions. Missionary. National unrest. Tax modifier. Sounds great. Also have negative stability. Let's go and recover, I guess. New missions? No. Okay. Let's guess that, like, nothing changed. Also, now, considering that we're receiving how many points? Five admin. Now we probably definitely should stop. Yeah, definitely should stop focusing on admin. Because we're gonna be lacking military points. We should probably have actually switched uh, to focusing on uh, military. Oh, wow. So, okay, this thing is not sieged anymore. So, I have a feeling that I could just declare a war right now. If only Baluchistan were not sieged in this place. Oh, uh, yeah, let's just wait. I'll just wait some more. I know waiting is not... not that thrilling at all, and all, but... need to be done. And also, this fort construction is really damn... Low. Actually, could construct some more buildings, some more tax income, or maybe some more for force li or not force limit manpower. And no. Uh, get uh, get eight hundred from here, or we could get plus. How much? Plus point two in Panipat. Maybe some workshops. In Delhi. Mm, yeah, let's take a workshop in Delhi. Why not? It produces silk. And it's gonna give me plus two plus point twenty six gold, which is not not too awful. Oh nice. Free stability, free points or free ducats. Uh get into Positive stability is not going to be a terrible idea, so yeah, why not? Mm. Okay, Baluchistan, you probably should surrender. You're not going to be able to win now. Now that the Taber or uh, Timurus is not at war with Taberistan. Gain piety, lose piety. Uh, oh, so yeah, Ramadan and stuff. 
Let's get some parts here. We still need some prawns to be converted. Okay, why I can't see these prawns anymore? <laughs> That's weird, but yeah, the capital now, the capital of Sintfeld. God damn it, Baluchistan, go away. Also, how's our advisors looking? Still fine. Missions, still garbage. Gujarat, you're not doing much. I could actually, could actually also take Baglana, by the way. That is my Sor, Malabar and Pastor. The people who do not really matter much. Actually, Malabar have like eight regiments from two provinces, that's kind of significant. More piety, less piety. Oh well. Time to go on unpiety side. I know I just clicked the previous one for event for getting piety, but... Mm, it is what it is. I made mistakes. We only have three provinces left to convert, so that's not that much, I think. Also, how's the rebels looking? 60%, 50%. Not too awful. Actually, could we stick our army on Rebel Hunter? We could. Let's go and do this. Okay, we definitely need to start attacking someone. Sint, how's your war? Baluchistan actually winning. What? Oh, because he is controlling Wargo and because actually capital of Sint costs quite a lot of Warsker as well. That's surprising. Hmm. Should I just go and take Baglena right now? You could call in like Gujarat. Actually no, Gujarat probably gonna be a problem because he have claims and cores in this place. He's gonna dislike me even more if I'm not gonna give him anything. You could call in Janpur. Would they join? They would. Or Molten? No, Molten we could keep for other war. Actually, yeah, why not? Let's go and declare war on Baglana while these guys are being busy. So, let's go and get our best general in here. The best of the worst. Uh, our manpower looking decent. I'm just gonna call in... Or should I even call in anyone? I probably don't even need to do this. Let's not call in anyone for now. If you're gonna start losing, I'm gonna call in a couple of people, but for now, let's not do this. No one gonna be called belligerent. Take Baglan is a war goal. Yeah. Everything looks great. I know this couple of small people might be a problem, but they... There is a chance that, first of all, they probably not gonna be able to uh, get in here. And even if they would be able to get in here, they probably aren't going to have too much of an army. Also, I just managed to stick wipe the whole army of this place. This is kind of surprising. Let's go and siege this place, preventing them from attacking anything else. Or not attacking, building anything else. Yeah, just siege down whatever we can. You've called in all of your little friends. But they're not going to help you much, I'm pretty sure. They're going to give you some... Uh, reasons to stay at war, but when your when your uh, war exhaustion gonna be driven a little bit higher, they're definitely gonna be you're definitely gonna be able to live in uh, live the war. Also, Mahman is just an embargo at us, right? Uh, yeah, our truce ended at some point, so let's go and issue embargo on them. Get some this power projection. The siege of Geert is over. Oh, hello. Yeah, I forgot. There was like... Buster guy. And I switched off all of my forts. Because I am an idiot. Okay. Let's go and... Leave some troops in here and the rest gonna go and kill Bastar. Shoot. Why am I... Not paying attention to the game? I don't know. Also, now I'm gonna leave these guys and someone gonna move from this direction. And kill me. That's what's gonna happen. Let's hope that... Uh, let's hope not. Yeah, no one seems to be moving in here. Maybe they just can't get a military access. 
you sir please uh, go away geared do i need to research geared oh yeah hello <sighs> oh he's actually moving to north konkan so i have some time to move back in but not much probably oh he's not attacking he's too scared okay geared could wait for now then and this guy just moving for gujarat who gujarat declared on gujarat's reconquest of surat oh Gujarat, that was a stupid declaration. You can't siege Surat. It's already sieged by me, so no such luck for you. Also, this fort of Geert actually costs me a lot of war score. Geert occupied by Bastar, minus 21. Oh my goodness. Just awful. Let's go and finish the siege of this place and try to resiege our... whatever we have in here. Yeah, the Geert. And you, Gujarat, could get your army wrecked if you want so. By these little guys. Come on. Finish the siege. And actually, it's always time for me to have a break, guys. So, I'm gonna do this. And we're gonna continue this little puppet show in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like. If you want to see more, you could subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment, you should have to do it. And I would answer you as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.